current Republicans already saying, oh, you know what? Nelson Mandela, obviously on our side. Ah. Oh. Okay, and uh, they're going to take it one step further. Now, he had his best. He was a commie, of course. He was a pinko commie. But, but uh, liberating a cold country, uh, I guess it had its upsides. Plus, uh, it, Rick Santorum is going to take it one step further uh. and compare the plight of Republicans in this country to Nelson Mandela. And you're going to think, no, no he's not going to do that. Yes, he is. Nelson Mandela just died. Uh, I don't know whether you're aware, but 95 I years was. old. <laughs> Nelson Mandela, I, I, I spent some time in South Africa. He was a communist, this man. <laughs> he was a communist, all right? But he was a great man. What he did for his people was stunning. The sacrifices that he made, he could have repudiated it and got out of that prison, he wouldn't do it. He was a great man, but he was a communist. So, but I would never attack Nelson Mandela. I mean, I told Bishop Tutu I disagree with you and with Mr. Mandela because Tutu is that way as well, but I respect you. Well, is he not merciful? Wow. You are a communist. No, I'm not disparaging you, even though you're a communist. <laughs> Has he ever said the word communist without spitting it out? Like, I don't think so. Communist. I'm not disparaging you. By the way, so let's pause on that for a second because here's a guy who wound up becoming president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, and when he did, did it turn out that the guys who scare us about communists here in this country, were they right? Did he just take all the rich people's land and property and give it to the poor and destroy the economy of South Africa and pulverize its future? Oh yeah, no, he didn't do that. Like, <laughs> he, he tried to fight poverty as any decent person who cares about his country would try to do, but no, he didn't seize people's lands, he didn't, he, it was a relatively, it's not like there wasn't ups and downs in his presidency as with anybody. Of course, there was ups and downs in John Adams' presidency and Thomas Jefferson's presidency. But he didn't, like, go wild eyed. <laughs> now the communists are in charge. No, he protected everybody's rights white uh, South Africans, black South Africans, and he tried to improve the economy as best as he could. So, wow, how scary were those communists? Mm -hmm. God, we wouldn't want that again, liberate a whole country and then try to help the poor people in that country. Ooh, that sounds dangerous, Bill. And I can see why you would disagree with that, even though you respect him. All right, now let's get to Santorum, see what he has to say. Well, Nelson Mandela stood up against a great injustice and, and was willing to pay a, a huge price for that. And that's the reason he's, he's, he's mourned today, because of that, of that struggle that he, he, he performed. But, but you're right. I mean, what he was advocating for was, was not necessarily the, the right answer, but he was fighting against some, some great injustice. And, and I would make the argument that, you know, we have a great injustice going on right now in this country with, uh, with, with an ever-increasing size of government that is taking over and controlling people's lives. And Obamacare is front and center in that. And <laughs> oh, my God. Obamacare is apartheid. I, I do think that Nelson Mandela's death is, is basically just a way to try to distract us from Obamacare. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So that's what they've been saying. John made this great point earlier today. Uh, so uh, when they did the peace deal with Iran, uh, John predicted that they were going to say this, and then they did immediately, right? Before John could even get the first video up on it. Uh, the Republicans came oh, this peace deal is a distraction. Try to distract American people from the failings of Obamacare. So let's think that through for a second. So President Obama is supposed to not get a peace deal because he wouldn't want to distract from the failings of Obamacare, <laughs> okay? He's supposed to stew in it, right? He's supposed to say like, hey, hey, hey I'm gonna do nothing, okay? Because I, I don't want to be unfair to the Republicans or the country, because if I accomplished anything else, I'd just be distracting you from my, <laughs> the failings of Obamacare, okay? So, I, But the thing is, Republicans think like, they do the projection thing, right? Yeah. They think, well, normally we do nothing. Mm -hmm. If we ever do anything, it's a distract for something <laughs> we screwed up, right? So like, whereas like, other people actually try to accomplish things, mm -hmm. right? So now, uh, Mandela, yeah, of course, trying to distract from Obamacare. See how he completely yeah. died at the age of 95 to do yeah. it? Yeah, he could, they, he was now, supposed to die. to be fair, they didn't actually say that. <laughs> he wasn't supposed to die for a few more months, but they're just making him die now. Yeah, 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 you know who did it? Obama. Obama. <laughs>